Hey everyone, welcome to Yada Belly's Kitchen. And this morning, uh, today, we'll be doing a quick um, stir fry. What do you call this? Stir fry? Or cook up? Yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So today, we'll do a quick cook up, like a breakfast item. And Jamaicans, as usual, we know about saltfish. I have some boneless saltfish here that I, I just um, blanch in water. This is probably about what, half pound, see? Mm, yeah. yeah, half pound, quarter pound, I don't know the poundage. About half, half pound. Or half of a pack. It come boneless, the boneless one, half of the pack. Alright, so I just blanched it in some water, removed the salt and stuff, make up mince it up with my fingers them and wash and clean and then i have maybe half of a small onion or a quarter of a large onion i have two stalks of celery here i have a little bit of uh, bell pepper you can use maybe half of a bell pepper of a good size bell pepper i have two stalks of green onion or scallions or escallion depending on where you come from and i have some kale just a handful of kale, you know, maybe a half cup of kale, two cloves of garlic, and maybe about eight to ten button mushrooms are cut up. All right, you can use as much as you want. All right, and I have on the stove, I have some oil, a little canola oil with a little olive oil, and that's going as um, we speak. All right, and this is just as I said, just a Normally Jamaicans we cook up saltfish and eat it with fried dumpling or any little thing like that. But me want it a little bit more healthier and I want a little more variety. So I'm adding these ingredients to my saltfish cook up. I will probably call it saltfish and mushroom. Something to make it sound exotic-ish. Yeah. So join me in the kitchen and make we start. The first thing I'm going to do is saute my onions and my garlic. Alright? Yeah. So the thing said. So I just added the onions the garlic and the celery and have those been have those sauteing a little bit and we're gonna start to build on these flavors now so i'm gonna add a little bit more um, stuff as we go along i'm gonna add the saltfish now or the cod salted cod yeah we call it saltfish the spanish people them call it bacalao we're we'll gonna add that now we might have to add a little bit more oil um, because this the saltfish absorbs some somewhat oil and the mushrooms will absorb some oil. All right, and as you can see, I pick up the saltfish, but I'm gonna do it overly small and fine because I know while you're cooking, it will break up a little bit. You know, but yeah, it look good. Oh, show them the dumpling. So the dumpling there folks and my wife is one of the, the chief executive dumpling maker she is a, a, a dumpling connoisseur she is a dumpling queen all right and this morning she said she'll try one new recipe so hopefully it work out lord help the dumpling that it work out i just eh? added some baking soda along with the baking powder usually i only use baking powder but they kind of want to look like kfc biscuits <laughs> I don't know if I'm feeling the puffiness, but hey. Alright, next I'm adding my mushrooms and my kale. Now my mushrooms are a little bit brown because I leave them in the fridge. Um one extra to wheat. But so then that how the interior of the insides? Yeah, yeah, but them still a little bit brownish. Oh. You know, extra brown. Alright, and I'm just sauteing these. Yeah, no me no me need look at oil, more oil. Now add some coconut oil. Oh, I like the flavor of the coconut oil. I know the song says it was under the coconut tree. Well, I'm trying to envy to put tomato, but I'm, I'm insist not. Yeah, I don't really want to put the tomato, but I might put it if, if she forced me. Force yes, me. Yes, put the tomato. That's mm. not forcing. Mm. <laughs> That's not forcing. Yeah. Oh, it looks so pretty on camp. Yeah, it looks nice, man. It really look good. Mm. 
Now, as I said, mushrooms um, absorb a certain amount of oil, so you have to know how to use them. Um, and then I'm adding my scallions and my peppers. I'm, I have to add some, some scotch bonnet pepper as well. Yeah, I'm going to turn on the fire because I don't really want them burn. Turn on the fire. Turn down for what? That's me to watch it burn. Scotch bonnet. And the wife is not too like the scotch bonnet, but me like it. I don't even think those are the real hot ones. I hope the they smaller are. Smaller ones are the hot ones. Oh, so these are not hot none at all? No. So we can use the whole of them? Well, you can go get the real hot one. Wow. She has sent me a little piece so it gets nice flavor. Yeah, make you see how that one work. Okay, so she convinced me to put the tomatoes. So I have one plummy tomato that I'm just gonna cut up in it, and I put some uh, black pepper, a little um, garlic powder, some adobo, not much, you know. You have to flavor them thing to your own desire and taste, you know. And I'm telling you, folks, it tastes good. Me try a little bit. Normally, me not cook and taste things, but yeah, me try a little light. It's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's acrimonious according to Tanto Black. Mm -hmm. And and this, as I said, it, it better than for us eat the, the the straight. Salfish because nutritionally the salfish not really do nothing for you. You understand? So when you add some stuff to it and, and as you, it, right now me ready for lock it off. You know, me a typical water because me like my gravy especially when you eat dumpling. What about ketchup? No. Not putting no ketchup in me something. She love a ketchup here, you see? Burn me for you. Make me get ignorant for you. Ketchup. <laughs> me no need for ketchup nothing. Mm. Nothing turned up and it are fed very very turned. So I'm just gonna add anyway, a Anyway, over to the main event. Really? Really? <laughs> if me never want the dumpling, but of course easy. I but just add a little water for as I said, build a little gravy base. Yeah, and I have some coconut spread. Wow, looking good, looking good. Which we use instead of butter. You see here, you see, look, the simple natural coconut spread. We use this instead of um, butter. I'm going to put a little bit in it. All right. Where can they find that? And I get I get mine at Aldi. I don't know if you have Aldi in your ne neck of the woods. Or if you're in Jamaica, you just use your regular cream coconut, um, you know, coconut cream, mm -hmm. whatever, you know. But it's a little bit different from um, coconut milk. It's like, it's like... The, the cream off of the coconut. I don't know if you explain. Yeah, so I'm going to use that to make it shine. Yeah. Um, she said I must find the hot pepper. So I'm going to find the hot pepper and use you it. So it's not peppery? Yeah, you tasted no, it? No, not peppery. Okay. So let's put two little bumps. Oh, this is the hot pepper? Yes. Oh, boy, there's something tumbled down. I mean, it dropped down. Through me to talk to the fire okay. again. About that? Yeah. All right. So once again, folks, this is my little stir up cook up. Uh, 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 uh. Really, my stir up cook up and stuff. When my plate, let me show you how the recipe look. So here is, so here is the finished product, folks. Yeah, my saltfish with mushroom uh, cook up or, or stir fry. And uh, as you can see, the, the wifey dumpling them stand up, yeah. And uh, you know me already. Me have to take up myself go fry other dumplings. So me, me, me shape it. Oh, me want to shape it. I'm a fried other dumpling that way. Eh? But I promise you, this is a very nice breakfast item. You know all the good vegetables and you know nutrition you can get, and it tastes good too. Me I tell you, oh, it tastes see, tastes good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. It tastes very delicious. Stupendous. So try this in your neck of the woods. Once again, utilize the foods and the products that you have in your neighborhood. 
and of course it will turn out good once again yeah the belly in a foreign and remember big up all my subscribers share like subscribe remember to check me out on youtube on facebook on instagram i'm a jamaican comedian rev saint hope and remember my food truck dream yeah gofundme.com slash yardy belly hey once again saltfish and mushroom cook up see you when i see you squaw